It's a musical reference. All right, now we have an assassin and two dust. This is fine because we can, of course, use our reversal and watch out, watch out for the assassin because they do do a tremendous amount of damage. Oh my God. Hello everyone and welcome back to Missledyne Online. Kingdom Hearts 2, final mix on the PlayStation 4. 60 frames per second, y'all. Critical mode in the last episode. Well, there was a lot of cinematics and a lot of story and a lot of cutscenes and apparently we are now invisible to our friends, Pence, Andrew Garfield, and Olette. I don't know either, guys. I don't know either. Uh oh. Look at what it's come to. I've been given these icky orders to destroy you if you refuse to come back with me. We're best friends, right? Sure, but I'm not getting turned into a dusk for. Wait a sec. You remember now? E yeah. Great! But, you know, gotta make sure and all, so, uh, um... What's our boss's name? Oh, can't believe this. Well, we tried. Defeat all of the strange enemies. What's our boss's name? Oh, can't attack Axel. Well, that's probably for the best because he he's he's real strong. He's real strong, like, and you probably kill us, but that's okay. Now we can go after these guys. One more hit should be enough to kill it. There we go. Uh oh, this is a new type. This is called an assassin. You want to watch out for these types. Uh, they spend a lot of the time in the ground, actually, but they also die very quickly. If you can get the reaction command fail safe, they will die, and we get ten money. Roxas, to the mansion. The time has come. Painter! Pence! Olette! He was trying to get them to unfreeze again. Time has completely halted. What is going on? Looks like that man Diz is, uh, up to something. The Roxas that I know is long gone. Fine. I see how it is. All right, we can head down here to the sandlot. We're just using this as a cut around. Now there are some dusts that you can fight, and I do recommend that you actually do this right now. Uh, fight, fight, fight a few dusts, man. In case, in case you know, in case there's any bosses or anything coming up, maybe, maybe a couple, a couple levels ain't gonna hurt no one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, watch out for that. That does some damage, man. All right, we need some, we need some health back. Let's go ahead and kill that. Now you can actually keep resetting these fights, if I'm not entirely mistaken. But in each area, there is actually going to be more dusk and uh, whatever these creatures are to fight. So we'll go ahead, fight all of them. Uh, and luckily for us, we do have the scan ability, which is pretty useful. Uh, so we can actually just go ahead and scan them. They get actually confused when you do reversal, which is actually really nice for us. This is worth doing just to get that little bit of XP, man. Uh, you're going to need this because one of the fights coming up is very, very challenging. Uh, looks like we have another, another assassin here. We just need to watch out. See if we can get it when it's doing that, and let's see. We don't want them to go into the ground. That's that's like a, a big no-no. They give nine each. That's how much Cypher gave us, by the way, in case you don't remember. Now, you can actually keep heading up here, even though we were told to go somewhere else and not, not where we're going. We were told to go to the uh, mansion, which is where we're going to go. But we did hit level four, so our defense has increased. Now I recommend just killing some of these. I'm gonna go to each area that voice said to go to the, so we can't actually go to the station, but that's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, these guys will actually respawn every time you walk out of the building, walk out of the, uh, uh, a zone and go back into it. If I'm, if I'm not entirely mistaken, which I might be, I might very well be. And it looks like I am. I am mistaken. Okay, so we should definitely just clear them out of every zone. 
All right, here in Tram Common, there is going to be a few in different areas, so we will go ahead and run around and see if we can find any. Uh, again, this is totally something that you don't have to do it at all, but getting that little bit of XP right now, getting those little stat increases, is probably not the worst idea you've ever had uh, in a video game. Let me tell you real quick. Uh, it also is nice that we get to see our damage be done. I don't know what it is about that, but it always feels good when you can see exactly how much damage you're actually doing to your opponent. And we will fight a bunch of Dusk, but those Assassins as well. The Assassins should always be your... Uh, not your priority target, is what I should say. You should go be going after those once you've dealt with all of the dust that you can that you can deal with. The assassin just doesn't do as much damage and is going to spend a lot of its time underground. So you can pretty much just avoid them and kill them once you're ready. Uh, I don't believe there's any items that you can actually find around here yet. It's not like they spawned in from last time. Now, of course, right over here, there's going to be more dust because this is like a perfect uh, area. Actually, not a dust, an assassin, which is good for us. Now, let's see if we can actually perfect. We stopped him from going under, and he gave us a high potion. Well, thank you, sir. We just want to continue on and head towards this little... Oh, we got some more dust here. We got this, guys. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. Dusks are easy peasy lemon squeezy. We got another assassin here. Now you can't actually hit it when it's like that. Sometimes you can and you can actually get them to come out of the ground. But, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Just what I wanted. We only have 54 more experience until we hit another level, which is good for us. All right, let's head into the woods. That's a musical reference for all you plebeians. All right, so be really careful right here because you're actually going to have to face a very, very challenging assassin uh, to the point where I've actually died twice against this guy. Uh, now we should be fine. The assassins are actually capable of dealing a lot of damage. Um, so uh, I would say actually neglect what I said on critical mode. So I've only played this on proud before. I've never really played on critical. So the assassin enemies are a little bit different on critical. They just do too much damage to be left al al alive. Um, they are pretty easy to avoid once you have the right abilities. As of right now, though, we don't have those abilities. So I would say that they are priority number one. And you can kind of, especially when there's damn two of them, uh, and you can kind of use, um, you can kind of use the dust as a way of escaping from these guys. We leveled up yet again. We are now level five, which is beautiful, beautiful for us. And then we can go ahead and Hopefully, focus. There we go. There we go. We were able to get him down. We also, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we have some high potions and stuff like that, but we also uh, just got a couple... Mm, was it an item thing? Either way, we got a stat up. I know we got defense up, and that's, oh, that's all that matters, man. Looks like we have to deal with three more dusk. We got this. Don't call me and then lock me out. I know that sword. The mansion. We're finally inside the mansion. Now, we did see Diz and Ansem there, and also these nobodies. You might remember these nobodies. These are the dudes that we saw when we were fighting that big, thorny looking dude. Um, yeah, well, that's very interesting. So, right here, we can go ahead and pick up. Oh, watch out for. Watch out! Uh, I love how they actually can transform. Now, they don't give much, and they're also not really a threat. You can kind of consider those the uh, the the shadows of this game. They're, they're not really going to do much. They come at you in, in numbers. That's about it. Now, there looks like there is another one right here that we can use. Let's go ahead and grab this chest as well. We got a potion. It's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we can actually head into this room right here. This is the dining room. Uh-oh. Uh, I did get a thing, but it actually went away. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, God, we gotta be careful of that. Now, luckily, our defense did go up, so we'll be fine. All right, and now we can lay into that guy. I love how they transform into all these different things. All right, we need to be careful of this assassin. 
uh, also notice how our command thing changed. So where our attack and items and all that jazz uh, are, it's actually a little bit different now. All right, all right. There's another assassin here. That's not good. Oh God, all right, let's see if we can focus one down. Only a massive blast could have broken this. Interesting. Right here we can get and potion, and then right over here we can get an elven bandana. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see what that is. We can go to our items. Roxas. Uh, I think it's not an accessory. I'm pretty sure it is. An, it is this. That will actually give us more uh, defense, which is actually useful for this point. Um. You know what? Let's go with the champion belt because the champion belt is going to be a lot more useful in a second. All right. Now we can head up here. Well, we could use... Well, we can't actually. We can... The castle object is crumbling. We can't actually go in this door, but we can examine it. It's blocked. Can't be opened. Very interesting stuff. Spooky, spooky. Let's go into this room. This is the library with a Pegasus thing. It's staring at the floor. A symbol is drawn in two circles. You could continue the drawing if only you had the right clue. Hmm. Very interesting. I love this library, though. Like, my dream is to have a room like this in my house. I'm just, I'm just saying. If anybody wants to buy me a room in my house, it's like that. All right, let's go ahead and grab this item as well, which I believe is a high potion. Uh, regular potion. Hmm. All right, more dust. We can take care of these guys real quick. I like fighting dust uh, after, you know, you deal with some assassins because those assassins just hurt right now, man. They can shred through your health, and I mean literally shred through your health. All right, I feel better. I feel better killing those guys. All right. Oh, speaking of an assassin. All right, let's see if we can take care of it real quick before it goes back into the floor. It can get really annoying when they go into the floor, man. Let me tell you. Oh, shoot. Well, that's okay. It's unfortunate, but that's okay. I do like our our new uh, command menu. It looks really good. Looks like this room really does exist. Your mind's made up? Why did the Keyblade choose me? I have to know. You can't turn on the organization! Organization 13. They're a bad group. Bad or good? I don't know. They're a group of incomplete people who wish to be whole. To that end, they're desperately searching for something. What? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Funny? It's just... I think... I've been running away from the question I really want to ask. What's gonna happen to me now? Just tell me that. Nothing else really matters anymore. You are... Nominate! There's no knowledge that has the power to change your fate. Even if it doesn't, I want to know. I have the right to know. A nobody doesn't have a right to know. Nor does it even have the right to be. But what is a nobody? Diz, we're out of time. Too many nobodies. Roxas. Nobody's like us are only half a person. You won't disappear. You'll be whole. I'll disappear? 
No further outbursts. No, you won't disappear. You'll... Wait! <sighs> Roxas, we will meet again. And then we can talk about everything. I may not know it's you, and you may not know it's me. But we will meet again. Someday soon. I promise! Let her go! Nominate! Well, that was flippin' dramatic, and we will get Nominee's sketches. Sketches left by Nominee. The drawings appear to have deep meaning. And a map of the mansion. Not that we really need it. And also, no big deal or anything, but a save point that I highly, highly recommend you use. Please, use it. Do that. And, as soon as you're ready, let's leave. Be prepared, guys, because we are about to have a potentially very hard fight. Now, all of these enemies will have respawned. Uh, I believe all of them, if I'm not mistaken. And if you can get an additional level before you continue over to the library, I highly recommend doing that as well. Uh, that's actually what I'm going to be doing. It's just going through and fighting these dudes. That's around right here. And I'll cut it out after I've cleaned all of this up. And I'll meet you guys at the entrance to the library. Strength and defense have increased. Okay. So, sorry about that cut. I just wanted to make sure that we did that while we could. And now we can head... Well, we can kill these real quick. Let's let's finish these off. Just, just, just real quick, because they're in the way. And now we can continue to the library. Remember when we were in there and it was like, Oh, if only you had a clue, you could get in. Well, let's try it out. Luckily for us, we have Nominee's sketches. Which is the solution we needed. To open the door. Looks similar to the room that we saw those mysterious people in before the Mansion Library. Mm. Let's grab this item real quick, which is another high potion. Looks like this is all... It's completely blocked by pipes. That's the door that we saw before that we couldn't get in? Yeah, let's head down here into the computer room. If we can maintain the simulated town until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What will happen to Roxas? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In the end, he'll have to give it back. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. Poor thing. It's the fate of a nobody.
think Rox is starting to remember everything, guys. Mansion computer room. We can go ahead and examine this. This probably won't ever work again. Yeah, I would agree with that. Looks like we can also examine this. This looks like someone's data. Hmm. That silhouette sure does look like someone we know. You don't know what this device is. Well, I think this is a good time to, uh, to end this episode, guys. In the next episode? Well, in the next episode, we're going to find out just exactly who Roxas is. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to drop a like. It really, really does help me and the channel out. Speaking of helping me out, right now showing up on screen is a Patreon button. If you want to donate directly to the channel, that is the best way to do it. One dollar a month will grant you early access to all of these videos. As well as other benefits if you decide to do so. And showing up on screen is the playlist for Kingdom Hearts 2 and a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you, viewer. Thank you for watching and remember, never give up. Never surrender to the darkness.